Welcome back. This is Stephen Libman, and we are shattering the illusions surrounding money and have you challenge your relationship with money so that you can have more. Today, what am I going to be talking about? Let's see. I'm going to be talking about a mortgage, and I'm going to break it down into two words. The first word, M-O-R-T, more, which means death. And the second word, which is G-A-G-E, which means pledge. Look it up. It's root French. So wait a second. The word mortgage comes from originally a foreign language that means a pledge for death? Uh, yeah. It really is two French words. And the pledge dies when the obligation is paid or the property is taken back. Very simple. But the question is, why do we get mortgages? I mean, think about it. I know why most people get mortgages, but the short answer is because that's how we're conditioned. That's what everybody tells you to do. If you buy a house, get a mortgage. It's really that simple. But why don't we ask for other options? Well, we don't ask for other options because that's how we're conditioned. We're conditioned not to ask. And if we don't ask for other options, we certainly aren't going to get any. So the question becomes, why does it matter? Well, it matters because you're likely taking longer than you have to and paying much more than you need to to pay off that death pledge, right? Imagine what the cost is. Now, I've done this calculation for people a few years ago, and I would share with them when they were doing some personal coaching with me at some point, and um, I would pull out a, a calculator, a mortgage calculator, and I would simply compare using a mortgage to using a line of credit. Now, you might think, well, they're both financing at about the same rate, and that's true, but one is a readvancing line of credit, and the other one is an amortized loan. And the amortized loan is far more costly regardless of what the interest rate happens to be. And it is likely costing people at least tens of thousands of dollars more than it has to. And in some cases, hundreds of thousands of dollars if you happen to have some of those higher end mortgages. So the cost to you by not knowing is a fortune. And I want you to remember that because it's so expensive, um, there's even a cliche out there that says ignorance is bliss. And the truth is, ignorance is expensive because now that you know this, you know to start asking, what are my options? It's not always a mortgage. Oh, sure, sometimes that's the best idea, but oftentimes there are better solutions. With that in mind, come back next time for another edition of Let's Look at Your Money, right? And let's see what we can learn and help you have more of it. Until then, all the very best.